we get people who say, who question the validity of the work simply because they have a, a, a different level of consciousness. And mm -hmm. so I'm wondering if you face that in your work in Ms. J's classroom or, you know, how it manifests when you're looking at, you know, when you're working along the spectrum. Yeah. So I would say in Boom, not as much in Miss J's classroom. Yeah. So um, I'll start with Boom. So Boom being the organization that works with the children starting from kindergarten all the way up through college and early career. Um, some of the challenges that we have there are less about um, am I African or not and more about uprooting the ways in which schooling um, has us process whiteness as the truth. And it's not like an overt, like, yes, white is right, white is better. But what we're seeing a lot of is like, um, the cultural norm is whiteness in our country. So anything that we talk about in curriculum, even the ways in which we think about how to uh, manage a classroom, how to structure and discipline comes through that white, framework. And so a lot of my work is working with Black folk on un undoing that and questioning why we approach our children in those ways, asking questions about um, why do you think that's true? Why is that um, the way in which you want to structure this, this session with the child? So with Boom, it's a little bit more about like, um, how do we help people to see the ways that whiteness is like all over how we think and move and do. Um, and I would say like in my um, consulting work, I see a lot more of the challenges around like, well, I'm not um, African, I'm black um, and that kind of thing where we have to ask those questions about like, so what does that actually mean, right? Um, one of the things that I thought about when you were talking to Dr. Kofi was like, even with, terminology, right? Slave. One of the things that I did with Miss J's classroom was I created this um, visual. It was a, a visual journal called Who You Call Enslaved. Mm -hmm. um, and it was dedicated to Harriet Tubman. I dressed as Harriet Tubman. I went to this um, gentrified park in Dallas. Um, it's in this place called Turtle Creek dressed as Harriet Tubman, stood there while all of these white folk <laughs> were running past and had a camera with my friend. And I stated this poem, who you call enslaved? I know you're not talking to me. And so it's, it's on my website, but long story short, the point is um, starting to push against the language that makes us um, believe in white supremacy. So I don't even say enslaved anymore. I use the actual term of captured, hostage, tortured, um, to name explicitly what happened. Um, and so pushing against the ways in which even language um, seeps into how we create this power dynamic. 